Hey everyone, a couple of months ago, I made a video on this amazing AI platform called Quick Magic AI, where you just upload a video of yourself moving, walking, dancing, or anything. It turns that into a fully animated 3D model. It's super easy, no mocap suit or fancy setup needed. Just a video into animation. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Well, they've just dropped a big update, and now you can bring those animations directly into Unreal Engine 5. Just record, upload, export, and drop it straight into Unreal Engine 5. Let me walk you through how it works. Now to get started, first log in with your account. Once you are in, you will be on this AI mocap interface, and it's very easy to use. You just need to import a video file. Choose the output format. There are multiple mainstream formats supported. Now let's head over to this website, and this is pexels.com, to get some free videos. It works best when you have a full body in motion. That is the head, feet, and everything stays in the scene. That's best. You can download videos from here. Now let's get back into Quickmagic AI. Here, simply click to import a video file. All right. So you can see the source video. It detects the person in the frame, and this is the video which I imported. You can trim the part of the video if you don't want it to be too long, just to make it short. Then we're going to say which character skeleton type we want to use. Here, in our case, it's Unreal Engine 5 format. Just drag and drop into the detection area. Now the AI captures the person's movement and converts it into a 3D model for UE5. Once that's done, click on Next. Give it a name and leave everything set to default. Full body, hand, original pose. And here, the export format is set to Unreal Engine 5. This process will cost 21 V-Coins, which depends on the timeline length. Now, click on Generate Now. It'll take some time to process. Meanwhile, let's also import another video, same as usual. Drag and drop the Unreal 5. Click on Next and Generate. Once it's done, you can see it has already finished processing. Let's open it up. And there you go, it has perfectly captured the motion of the person. If you want to make adjustments, you can regenerate it with the 2D refinement option. This lets you fine tune key points at each frame. So if there are any slight errors, you can set key poses, adjust values, and refine the model. But honestly, from my side, this model already looks pretty solid. Once you're happy with it, click download. The model will be saved as a zip file. And same with this video, this one also looks great. It perfectly captures the dance movements of the person in the frame. I'm going to just pan around a little bit here so we can match the motion and see how that's looking. And as you can see, even starting with a source video that has camera movement, Quick Magic is still able to handle it pretty well. Since this was done with Unreal Engine, it's automatically going to download that UE5 mannequin skeleton base. So, I'll simply extract the zip files into a folder. Now let's load these 3D FBX models into Unreal Engine. All right, and there we go. This is a sample UE5, a uh, game project. Now I'm going to go ahead and import that animation into the game animation area right here. Browse to the asset, click on import, and let's import it here. Or you can drag and drop the assets into here. Now here, I'll leave everything to default. Asset pipeline, skeleton meshes, and animation. Of course, the FBX contains the model data like meshes, animation, track bones, curves, textures, and everything. You can also preview the model data, the UE5 skeleton, and physics asset. Well, now, let's import the model. Just drag and drop it here. And there we got the animation sequence. Let's adjust it a bit. All right, and we can take a look at the simulation process like the person doing dance moves based on the video we exported. And this looks really good. Same, let's import the other FBX model. All right, so this is the model we created using this video. And there we go, guys, this looks amazing. And both of these models were created using Quick Magic AI, just from a simple video, without using any motion capture suits and stuff. And this will save you a lot of time, a lot. You can also retarget these models to your existing 3D model. Like let's say here, I want to target this model and I want to link this model's animation moves to this model. Right click on the model, select retarget animation, select the target skeleton mesh and choose the animation, that's it. In the same way, I'll show you one more sample example. You can even generate 3D models from a video with multiple people in the frame. Here, I'll import those generated models onto the main land surface. And of course, it's a park environment with a beautiful landscape and a water body. Hmm, right, yeah, okay, all right, and there we go. 
it looks perfect, especially when compared side by side. As for pricing, this platform offers a freemium plan with 50 V coins per month. And if you need more, you can purchase additional coins with flexible pricing. You only pay for what you use, making it a great value for both casual users and professionals. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments about your experience with AI-based motion capture systems. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.